Hi Leo, welcome to your reading. So Leo, I want to light some Palo Santo real quick just to get the energy all the way right. Leo, don't let pride get in your way. Don't let pride get in your way. I'm going to get into why your pride might be getting in your way in a second. And then we also have surrender to the divine. Okay? Surrender to the divine. The full moon that we just had, that energy was really a trigger for you to get all the way right. So something did happen. Some sort of major event, some sort of major life experience has happened. And even though it might feel a little bit... um earth shattering it might feel a little, a little bit uncomfortable this was actually the best thing to happen to you because it has woken you up to your true potential to your true you're just to your true self this life experience has opened doors for um your authentic self to shine but let's get into why your pride might be letting getting in your way there i feel like you're you're being loyal to someone or something to a fault because this loyalty is actually having you too stuck in your head and so i feel like this my this energy might have you know been that that lightning bolt thing that like um that just shook shook something up something that was unstable has now been um you know the tower we have tower tower moment something that was unstable has been removed has fallen um but this is actually good news this is actually great news this is actually nothing better could have happened from that so um i do want to get more i am going to clarify that and my cat is being annoying okay loki what do you have to tell leo what do they need to know? She's not saying anything. <laughs> the future cards, the ten of pentacles to the ring. And then we have the lovers as your shadow card. Like, I feel like I just need to get more cards to say for sure. But we're going to clarify in a second. But I want to get the foundation of this reading down first. The Ten of Pentacles to the Ring. You are going to be in such a good place in the future. And this energy, like you can tap into it now. You're going to be committed. You're going to have a beautiful family, a beautiful home. Anything that you want materially, you're going to get it. You're going to be, you know, pursuing out your dreams. Really connecting to your soul's purpose and your soul's divine counterpart as well like everything is in the cards for you you're really getting the, all the keys to the success right now but there's something there's something here that like that you had to have let go of or something here you know has had to change this eight of swords energy isn't a good energy to be in. you you've had to let go of some sort of negative thought process in order for this to happen so i want to get more into that um let's see tell me about this eight of swords to the dog tell me about this eight of swords to the dog tell me about this eight of swords to the dog for um leo please clarify these cards for me Marvin, please. Okay, so we have the Five of Air coming out, and then we have the Ace of Wands coming out. So, you know, whatever you were being loyal to, it was trapping you, it was unwise. You needed to learn from that review everyone's motives and change something and i feel like you did make the change and and now you have you know an exciting new opportunity you have career advancement change your life now you've changed your life here you've changed your life here okay um let's see the tower to the sun clarify the tower to the sun Clarify the tower to the sun. 
We have the Six of Water. Memories from your history or childhood. Issues regarding children. Romanticizing the past. By the tower to the sun we have nine of earth four of earth three of earth i cannot make the shit up i cannot i cannot you're having to set boundaries here making a decision you need to clear things that no longer serve you you're needing to clear things that no longer serve you. It's a feminine air energy. And then we have the six of water. Look, Marcel, welcome to the chat. Thank you for sharing the broadcast. You're romanticizing about spending time alone, having successful self-employment, enjoying life's little luxuries, but by yourself. By yourself. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who's single. We have the tea being spilt here. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who's single. We have the Ten of Pentacles already in your future section and this is the present moment we have the four of earth the three of earth you're really needing to focus on your home on your values on saving on building a foundation and there's people that are going to want to work with you there's people that are going to be aligning with your energy because you're focused on yourself because you're really aligning with your soul's purpose you're doing what makes you happy you're doing what makes you happy and so i feel the thing that you might be needing to let go of is it as is an actual person that you may have you know a soul tied to you do have a soul tied to this person but i feel like it's time for you to why are you licking my freaking armpit dude why why? That's what I have here. I feel like you're going to have fun. You're going to be having so much fun before you actually meet that person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Like you're going to be living this bachelor, bachelor, bachelor lifestyle um, before you do eventually end up settling down because marriage commitment is so much in your future. But right now you're being asked to, you know, like spend time alone, successful self-employment, like focus more on your business um heal your inner self that's what we're doing right now making good business decisions giving back to the less fortunate because you've built yourself up now so now you're giving okay giving back um seeing the humor in a situation with that queen of swords energy Let's see. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles to the Ring. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles to the Ring. We have Release and the Empress. So abundant. Your future is so abundant. There could be a Libra or Taurus in your future. If you have Libra and Taurus in your if you have Libra and Taurus in your chart, this is you thriving fertility and growth you are going to have a family but there is something you need to release there is someone you need to release okay if you're a masculine if you're a masculine i feel like you do need to release a feminine energy in order for you to 
you cannot have someone new or something new if you don't release the old if you are this feminine energy you're just going through a transformation right now where um you are you are being asked to have healed your past to have healed your to truly have done all the work on yourself you're being truly asked to love yourself first like you're being tested like do you really love yourself do you really or are you being codependent because the nine of pentacles also talks about codependency and really learning how to stand on your own as a divine feminine you know nine of pentacles to the empress nine of pentacles that's the energy you're in now and then you're evolving your future cards are so good the empress is you it's clear secession here it's clear evolution it's clear leveling the fuck up but right we're needing to let go of certain things and i've talked about this through this whole this whole reading okay major um major ego death here okay ow okay time for you to go away go away the end of a phase or situation spiritual transformation time to move on so that you can give birth to your dreams nurture yourself and others okay that's just the person that you are virgo energy virgo energy yeah you do have to let go of some sort of grief okay some something that has made you sad your feelings are needing to change um your feelings are needing to change here so that you can connect to your soul's purpose tell me about leo please tell me about leo tell me about leo please tell me about leo Tell me about Leo. Tell me about Leo. Keep taking care of yourself, Leo. Keep shining. Keep shining. Keep, you know, enjoying the little things because that's what manifests more for you. Okay, we have patience. Be patient, Leo. Be patient. And we have innocence as well. That Virgo energy, that pure essence and joy. Okay, you know, Give yourself the grace that you're working with, the knowledge that you have, and that you've always done that. Enjoying life's little luxuries. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Leo. I really do hope it resonated. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.